Now, when we get court cards like that, they do often indicate people in your life. So May could be a busy month for you dealing with people or other people's emotions or feelings or situations or other people will play a role in how your activities of the month are going. If it's not so much about other people, then the court cards tend to give us the feelings that those types of people would emulate. So it can be to do with uh, possibly careers, for instance, with that King of Rods and with the Queen of Cups, it can be to do with emotions and with the King of Swords, it can be to do with uh, communication. So anyhow, let's start on the left with the King of Swords and then underneath the Journey card and then let your past go. So the King of Swords could be yourselves because that is the air sign energy and it could be how you're thinking or feeling or you're pondering about your own specific agenda in life. So at the beginning of May, it feels as though you've got you on your mind, like what am I doing or where am I going or what do I want in life? Now, sometimes this can be the use of your mind. So your mind could be an overdrive thinking about directions to go, but it could also be communication. So it could be letters or verbal communication you're having with other people or even within your own self, communicating with yourself about things in your life that you're perhaps not that happy with or you're wanting to alter or move in a new direction. Given that it is the uh, sword card, it can often mean communications or legal documentations or the signing up of things. So this can be signing of new contracts one way or another. For some of you, this could be uh, an employment contract coming or the signing of a partnership with a business with someone or the offer of something coming to you. It could be the purchase of a new home, for instance. It might be legal dealings and you have... Uh, legal papers to sign for one reason or another. It could just be, as I said, you're pondering about yourself or it could be other air sign people in your life that are on your mind as well. So of course that includes the Geminis and the Librians, uh, Librans sorry, who could be in your life. Now if you look underneath we come to the word journey and this is very much about going on a new journey in life or heading off in a new direction and you've got that twice in your reading. The journey and the change in direction card down here are very very similar. The journey is possibly closely related to the full card in the traditional tarot so it can be very much about new beginnings and when you have underneath let your past go it could be something that you've been reluctant to let go of or you haven't known how to. So this could be relationships or it could be something that's been burdening you personally. It could have been a fear of moving on from something. It could have been something health-wise that has been holding you back. It could have been uh, stuck in a glitch phase for an inability to find a way out of a situation or to find new ideas or new growth. So there's a whole lot of different meanings in that first column. It's quite a powerful one. It's definitely talking about change. And it's, you know, when I see the King of Swords, I think of it as being in quite a strong, stealthy position for the air sign people. So it feels as though you feel strong about something finally, or you've you've made this, you know, decision to move on or to make a decision or to make a directional change. And some of this could be painful past that you're letting go of or moving away from. So it could be things that have been personally painful for you, such as relationship issues or a failure or that you look as at a failure in your life. So for some people that could be failure around a career that they might have chosen and didn't do well or, f or haven't passed exam papers that they wanted to and they're moving on from that now. You know, like coming to a decision, okay, this wasn't the way it was meant to be. It's not for me. I'm changing directions. I'm looking at something new. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck on that row because there are so many different messages popping into my head. But again, this is just a reading for, you know, thousands and thousands of you. So for individuals, if you want a private reading, you would have to come to me specifically to look further into it. But we come to the second row with our second court card, the King of Rods, and here's much more like a fire sign energy. So that's the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarians. 
but again this could be a rising sign energy of your own. They are known as the creative fire energy source, they fire things up, they get creativity going, they get passion going, so sometimes this can be associated with your career. So something in your career sector could be firing up and for those of you who might not be working at this point, either past working or pre-working, this could be your creative hobby zone in life, your passionate things that you love about life. But underneath we see all tied up. So then it sort of feels as though, again, you might have been stuck or blocked or caught in some sort of uh, position where you feel you aren't able to make the moves that you want to. You're getting messages here of knowing that you want to go on this journey or knowing that you want to make change, but for some reason things are a little bit stuck here, especially when we have the patience card as well underneath. And um, so some of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm trying to get a new job or I'm trying to get this creative energy up and running again or I'm trying to sort a relationship out with someone, but it's just halting at the moment. So I think when we had um, the messages for you at the very beginning about relationship harmony and finding, I said it's time to communicate with relationships, perhaps a lot of this is about the relationships in your life. It could be close family, it could be your intimate um, romantic partner, it could be friends or work people even, but I think communication might be the key for removing any blocks for you guys or even for helping to further your way forward and to clarify which way you want to go. This card down here, what do you desire? It's a beautiful card to have turn up in your reading because it literally says, if you put enough heart's passion into this, your wishes could come true. So if this is something to do with this particular person in your life, this king of rods, so a fire sign person, and it may be a male, and it may be an older uh, aged male, so not someone like 20, it could be someone older, maybe you're having a relationship problem with this person and you'd like it to be smoother and freer flowing. So what do you desire? You know, put put that out there and say, well, I really want this smoothed out, or I'd like to work for this person, or I'd like this person to appreciate me more. You know, there's a whole lot of different ways you can ask the universe to help sort out problems that are surrounding you, and especially in areas of relationship as well. But I always do say communication is the key. And then we come over here to this Queen of Cups, and again, this is your third court card. So could she be a lover, a friend, a wife, a mother, a sister, a colleague, a workmate, uh, a potential employer, a business partner? She often is a wonderful person to go to, to listen to. She has empathy and sympathy and understanding. She's quite patient. She's quite nurturing. So some of you may find this woman walking into your life but it feels as though she already is here. Although some of you might be wanting her to come in, and this is where the all tied up and the patience messages might be coming. So if you are wanting this certain type of person to come into your life in a hurry to either employ you or to be your lover or your partner or um, you're wanting to contact someone like an, a long lost relative or a friend and they're not responding, then there's a reason, you know, our timing is not necessarily on the same timing schedule as other people. So there's definitely something about that in your reading. You might be wanting all these things to happen in your life and they're not at the moment. But remember, our, our timing isn't necessarily the same. So we can't force our wishes and desires onto situations and people until everything is all ready to roll in the same motion and direction and that takes us patience and it takes us you know time to uh, work it all out and we can feel tied up when we get stalls like this along the way. So I'm having a feeling that the Queen of Cups is somehow involved in something that requires patience from your end or she is also supporting you and offering you some sort of patience as well. Perhaps she's waiting for you to make a decision and for you to be able to be free and not tied up so much so that you can manage to do what your heart's desire is enabling you to do. The card at the bottom, the blessing in disguise, will tell you that 
whatever this is that's going on, possibly with a woman like the Queen of Cups or with your own emotions at the moment, you know, you could be feeling very emotional about certain aspects of your life and they're telling you to have patience with that. Uh, it's telling you it is a blessing in disguise. So somewhere there is a very big reason why they are telling you to have patience and perhaps why timing on certain events is being stalled or slowed up. There could very well be learning lessons going on here. The person or people that you're inquiring about or wanting to be interactive with may be already involved with something else that if you um, went headlong into it at the moment would prevent you from being considered further or the other person perhaps is um, not ready to understand your philosophies or your opinions on a certain area that you're wanting them to so remember we wait for things to happen for a certain reason and it's usually for the better so patience is obviously a key word here we come to this third uh, fourth column and we have the Hierophant, the Daughter Spirit, and the Change in Direction. That's quite an intriguing role in itself. The Hierophant is known as the religious overseer. He's quite the patriarchal figure of religious indoctrination. He can represent big churches or religious uh, beliefs, um, literally, such as going to a church or a ceremony at a religious uh, event not necessarily just Christianity but any particular religion you may follow so some of you may be attending events at churches like weddings or christenings or bar mitzvahs or you know um, anything that people do where they go to a place to worship and to feel connected to spirit some of you may uplift or reconnect with past energies when you were younger you may have gone to church or you know been particularly interested in philosophical or religious perspectives or studies and you might go back to this for some reason and be renewed in it again and the daughter spirit card is not dissimilar but it is perhaps a little bit more broad-minded this one also with the hierophant tells us to do things in an orderly fashion and a logical sensible legal fashion so if any of you are thinking of signing up documents or buying or purchasing a house or looking into legal perspectives in your life it might have to do with business dealings or anything it kind of says to you make sure you do it correctly legally and in an appropriate time manner and way and fashion but the door to spirit beneath it is a little bit different it talks about more of a free-flowing ability to feel connection to the esoteric realms to the angelic realms to white light energy to the freedom of kind of source connection where rules aren't really profoundly there but the connection to spirit is now for some of you this could mean that you become increasingly aware of the intuitive side of life so you might become more psychic you might become more aware of in, um, like dreams so it could be worthwhile taking a dream journal at this time or taking note of your dreams you might find you have answers uh, from that perspective of your life and as well some of you might even start up your own healing practices so you might be being enlightened in the realm of healing or the art of the esoteric healing realm so some of you will be becoming active in this way and it sort of could be the start for you or some of you might have been working on this and you have been going you know this whole row through here some of you may have started a journey a while ago and felt that you had a blockage or you gave up or you stopped for a while or perhaps there wasn't the energy coming through that you were looking for they've told you to have a little bit of patience and then they're suggesting that your daughter spirit is opening up for you so if any of you have started work in this type of realm this could be about to flourish again or you could be going through onto the next stages and to confirm that again in the bottom it's this change in direction so a lot of you might feel a real lift or connection to something powerful that gives you insight and enlightenment and gives you this creative glow and awareness 
some of you might experience unbelievably powerful synchronistic events which are very exciting when they happen they're very personal they don't generally mean much to anyone else but you'll know when you have a great synchronistic event and you'll just be like wow that's kind of crazy wackadoodle <laughs> as one of my Aquarian friends often says that's wackadoodle so um, the change in direction can also mean what the card is depicting which is a stork and a baby and a little child. So uh, sometimes this could mean that there can be an addition to your family, uh, a pregnancy could occur, a birth of a baby, the blending of families, uh, extended families coming together, meeting a partner that has another family. This can also mean uh, new pets coming into your home as well. And it can mean literally the same as over here, heading off in a new direction. This could be career related as well. It could be to do with health in particular for some of you. And it could be to do with um, your yeah, belief systems or legal entities that have been going on around you whether it was business dealings or whether it was purchasing of a house or whether it was the breaking up or signing off of uh, business or romantic relationships there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in your reading and that's the difficult thing often when we get so many court cards because they they don't necessarily tell us exactly what's going on they kind of hide themselves a little bit so they make a reading challenging from many perspectives because there's so many different areas that we can draw from each card 